Hey everyone, UAV Crazy here. I love flying race drones and recently I had a ton of fun designing and building my own long range RC airplane. But I also like biking. So I had this idea to put this 15 kilowatt brushless motor from Free Hobby onto my bike in efforts to make a homemade e-bike. I was also gonna bind it with this 380 amp 22S ESC. However, this got messed up in shipping from China so that might have to take another route. I instead actually started using this 25 kilowatt brushless motor just because it was a little bit more, it's totally worth it. But could it really just be as easy as slapping a motor onto your existing bicycle, attaching a chain and calling it an e-bike? Well, that's what we're gonna find out today. And I kid you not, I really did just slap this motor on my bicycle thinking it would work. Although I knew there would be a lot of challenges, I don't think I really knew just how much I was getting into because there was a lot more here than just slapping a motor onto a bike. The first task of course was getting a really good strong drive gear for the whole system. Because I'm still using the rear derailleur I needed to fit the chain which required me shaving this one down by about half as it was too thick. Other than that it fit great. And this drive gear has to be strong because it's going to be handling 25 foot pounds of torque which is a lot considering a person does about 80 but with a much larger gear. Man, imagine the torque at the end of this thing being that this is a 3 to 4 ratio. That means my wheel's gonna have about 81.6 foot pounds of torque. That's insane! And you don't have to tell me how careless I was for using this used bike chain because guess what happened? Yep. But don't worry, after this I fit it with a brand new chain like was coming in the mail anyways and it works much smoother. In this test, I'm only getting to about 20 miles an hour, but that's because I'm running this on a 6S ESC from my old airplane. Later on, I'll be trying to use a 12S ESC from APD. Before I go on to the test, this is a 3D printed cover that I designed, meant to simply add stability to the other side to make sure the motor doesn't flex too hard while testing. That cogging you just heard is because while the motor is censored, the ESC from my airplane is not censored. And by the way, this ESC is only 60 amps, meaning that the spike is actually only 1500 watts. So it really does feel like it has a ton of power. I made a quick XC60 splitter so that I had three batteries in parallel for multiple capacity, and I put a little servo tester on the handlebar so that I could easily control the speed of after doing this, I just put a little bit of foam board all over it just to act as a rock, dirt, water, just something to repel it from the motor. I've had a ton of fun on this bike so far, but it's really just an ESC and a servo tester. So I'm putting on the Raspberry Pi right now because I really want to get this thing computerized. That way I can have different speed modes and maybe even one day have it self-driving. It's a great time to mention that I'm using Tattoo 25C rated 7 amp hour LiPos. The reason I'm using LiPo is because compared to most e-bikes which use lithium ion, I have a feeling that with this type of gear train and this gearing being so, technically this is a high gearing. So it's definitely going to pull a lot of amps and I don't want to sag my battery down to dead voltage just by accelerating. I took a few test runs with my 12S ESC attached to 50 volts from the LiPo with 2 in series and I was noticing that I was pulling around 4300 watts at about just a hair under 100 amps depending on my battery voltage as my voltage got lower and lower my amps would increase to 102 so like i expected this is definitely going to be a high power system most e-bikes don't pull anywhere near this kind of amp draw just by accelerating however i would like to mention that that was up to 45 miles an hour and it did that in somewhere around four or five seconds which is incredibly fast it was it felt so light on the front, the front wheels honestly coming up. Uh, and there were a few times where if I punched the throttle just a little too much, it would easily wheelie. Which brings me to the unfortunate conclusion that uh, even though this motor is rated for 25 kilowatts, I really don't think I'm going to be able to use that. It is rated for up to 100 volts, but that would mean I'm cruising at like 100 some miles an hour, literally. So I... I, I still don't think it's going to pull 25 kilowatts unless you're accelerating that fast in 
really, really quick speeds. So I may just call this an electric dirt bike at this point. Now that I have all the components for the Raspberry Pi installed, it's ready to be programmed. I'm using Python because it's a relatively simple language and it's really easy to grab data from the GPIO pins on the Raspberry Pi. For right now, it is button accelerated because I don't have a variable throttle input, which any bike should have. It's basically just going to accelerate a certain amount, a set amount, uh, depending on what mode you're in. So if you're in mode one, it's going to accelerate slowly, which is going to help me with cogging because this 12 SESC still isn't censored, sadly. And the second mode give you tons of acceleration all the way up to 45 miles an hour, which still blows my mind that I'm able to get that fast, especially when that's in like four or five seconds. I don't know really how quick because I'm always starting in first mode. It just skips and cogs in the second. If you're still wondering how I'm programming this, I will leave a link to a download that you can really open up and see how everything's working. Uh, this will obviously be updated in the future as I do have a variable throttle coming in, although I don't know if it'll work yet. We'll see. Anyways, off track. You can look at the code, see how it's working, and really customize it for your own use if you'd ever want to do something like this too. It actually took me a surprising amount of time to really dial in the acceleration speeds. My motor mount is not the strongest, and when it undergoes a lot of torque, it does bend the entire mount and it will eventually skip the gear. That has been my biggest struggle from all of this really, is that the motor is just one big mass wants to go. I have a speed controller telling it to go that exact speed, and the motor is going to try to do it no matter what, and that may even break my bike thing I will note if you ever do try to use this make sure you're using the Pi GPIO library as that is a hardware based timer rather than the regular GPIO library setting an ESC UWM output through software timing which just is not accurate enough trust me I tried it my motor is extremely jumpy constantly increasing and decreasing speed very quickly I know I know you want a test video here you go It ended up taking between 4 or 5 seconds to accelerate from about 19 miles an hour to 45. Not too bad, would want it quicker, but just can't on this bike frame.